when we, uh, now we are talking about of work operation, we are talking mostly about compaction. So in compaction, uh, the, 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 the moisture content play a big role. Meaning if you have a very dry soil, you have very wet soil, so they will have effect on the, on the result of your compaction. You can compact them, but sometimes if you have a very small amount of moisture, you only can achieve certain uh, extent of strength. You can generate certain strength. When you have a lot of water or moisture in the soil, the same thing, you will also have what we call uh, your compaction effort can only achieve certain level, certain level of strength. What we want to, we are, what we are trying to achieve is the optimum strength, meaning the, the highest strength possible from, from the compaction. We, would, we want to try to achieve the highest strength possible from the compaction. On the result of compaction. If let's say I I go back, my uh, the roller go back five times. One, two, three, four, five times. I go five times. What what kind of compaction strength that I can get? So I want to op optimize that, right? So uh, even sometimes if if you go more than five, the, there will the the strength will not increase because of. Uh, you know, the, 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 this effect of moisture content. So moisture content will play a big role in, in, in achieving what we call uh, optimum uh, or, or, or maximum density, uh, uh, maximum density. Maximum density, you know, when, you, when the density is higher, the, uh, the, the, the strength is also higher. So when you, you are, able to compact the soil into higher density than the, the, the strength of, of, of the compaction uh, or, or the you, you can engineer the, the strength to be high. Um, let, later on, we'll see a, a chart that will illustrate uh, this situation. So the effect of moisture content, water added as a softening agent. Okay. We need some water. Without water, it's very hard to compact. And then uh, this moisture will allow the soil to slip onto each other and into a more dense packed position. Once you have a little bit of, uh, of moisture, you, uh, you can, uh, 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 what do you call it, uh, the compaction, uh, you make it easier for the compaction to work, you know, because we will let the, the soil to go into each other and then become uh, packed. But the issue is, um, in the third, in the third uh, statement here, you can see beyond, beyond certain moisture content, I put in M percent is the percent of moisture. The unit weight or, or the density is reduced. You imagine, you thought that uh, earlier without, without moisture, you cannot achieve certain density. With some moisture, you can achieve better density, but with too much moisture or water, the, 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 the strength drop again. So that means there will be certain maximum uh, uh, density that you can achieve with, uh, with adding more and more water. If you go beyond certain uh, percent, it will drop instead of going up. And um, uh, the strength will drop instead of a uh, 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 gain. Okay. So um, the, the reason is very simple because remember just now the soil slip onto each other and, 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 and go into a more packed position. But the thing now when you have more water, instead of the soil, the water will take up the space of the soil. So that's why it become weaker again. Uh, so in, in the beginning, it helps the, 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 uh, the packing of the soil, but when it's too much, 
the water itself will take up the space of the soil and it's become weaker. So uh, I guess that, that, that is uh, very true for many things. When uh, you have too much of something, probably it's not good. <laughs> so you want to have just, just nice, just enough, just uh, what they call it. Uh, uh, the, the, you just want to have the optimum amount of things, not too much or too small. Uh, so I don't know whether you can agree with that, um, but uh, most of the time I think uh, just like money, right? no money is a problem, too much money is no problem, so it depends, maybe it depends, you say, you know, depends on how you handle the money, but uh, same thing with here, in, in, with the soil and water. Okay, uh, so that, that is the effect of uh, moisture content. Okay, now we are looking at uh, this chart. All right, this chart. This is just to show you the what they call uh, how the strength gain, how the strength increase, how the strength increase when you add more water. Okay, you look at the 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 blue line here. It is actually the amount of water. All right, the amount of water. Or, or you can say moisture content down here is the moisture content, right? To go to the right, if you as you go to the right, uh, the blue line increase, right? Because this is indicating the water or moisture is increasing from zero, nothing, no water. You go. Up to here, okay. So that means as you go to the right, uh, more water is added to the soil that yeah you, you are going to compact. Now, on the y-axis here is the unit weight or density, right? Or density of or of the soil. What you trying to achieve is the height. We are trying to get maximum unit weight. We add water to, to get the maximum unit weight. But like I said before, if too much water, the unit weight will drop. So this can be illustrated here with the red line. You look at the red line now. That, that's what, what happened when you add water and compact the soil. All right? You, in the beginning, when you have small, you add water, then your strength, unit weight or strength will increase this red line. It keeps increasing while you are adding more water. You have you put water up to here, it still go up. And then up to here now, suddenly it start going down. Now you add more water here, more water. When you add more water down, the density start going down instead of going up. It is not a proportional kind of, uh, of relationship. It, it, the water will, uh, one time can be good for you, but later on, up to certain, up to certain amount, the water is not good. You don't want you don't want any more water, right? So this is what we call optimum moisture content. And also at this point, it is called you go to the to the y axis here. It is called maximum density, maximum unit weight, right? This is the maximum that you can achieve maximum compaction strength that you can achieve. You cannot achieve uh, beyond this with that kind of uh, uh, compaction effort. Uh, this is the maximum. So once we know this maximum uh, density, uh, <clears throat> then this will be the reference that we will use later during the field compaction. This is, this is in the lab. When you go to the field, you want to verify the, your compaction in the field. That means in the field, if you use the same soil here, the same soil from the same side, from the same source, uh, with the same uh, kind of compaction effort, you would expect the maximum density to be, to be this. So, so if, if, if as a builder or contractor, 
you are expected to achieve this compaction strength on site. Whatever you do with the soil, you must achieve this because we know that this is the strength that you can achieve on site based on the lab test. So in the on site, you have to do the compaction and to do the verification test, which is similar to this one, uh, on site, uh, and, and must prove that they have got the same strength. Uh, so that that's the thing. That that's why we need to do the test in the lab to be used as a reference uh, value or, or 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 benchmark uh, for the site test. <laughs>